all right so far we have seen what is hooks and what is page objects what are locators and those things right okay now it's time for us to move further okay uh now we have to create the reports because so far we are running the scripts but there are no reports got generated right so it is still empty the folder that we created in the beginning it's still remaining empty okay so it's time for us to add the reporters okay so we will be trying two reports okay if possible alu report we will cover okay so now this is a place in the cucumber.json file where you will specify a couple of options so that the reports will be generated okay it could be xml format json format html format and all okay let's try with the first one okay so if you want to create any json file out of it okay simply says json okay so instead of that json and i will say reports okay reports reports slash so let's give cucumber json that format right that should be fine cucumber report cucumber report dot json okay so we'll try to run it and see if the json file is getting generated so because uh, we have created a reports folder right same thing just uh, make sure that spelling is correct and followed by cucumber report dot, dot, uh, dot json okay so let's try running it npm test hyphen hyphen env equal to qa So you can see edge is launched i think in qa environment file we have specified the edge browser that's fine continue and the second time not done so go here and you can see cucumber report json file got created okay let's try opening in the let, let's try opening it in the VS Code itself. You could see the details, the the details of each and every test is recorded over here. It's very much easy in Cucumber. You just need to specify options in the JSON file, Cucumber JSON file in the format section. Let's say I want to create JNUT XML file, right? So same thing, you just need to provide it in the array and you simply say JUnit comma and path so obviously it is going to be report slash j unit dot xml i'm going to delete it so that we'll see if everything is going well right so try rerunning one more time this time two things should be there one is a json file the other one is a j unit xml Okay, so now you can see we have cucumber.json file and the same thing we have XML file as well. Okay, so like this you can create XMLs, JSON and we can also create the HTML report as well. Okay, let's see how we can create the HTML report. Okay, it is going to be simple. So same thing, I'm going to come over here. I will say HTML. HTML. Here I will say reports slash HTML.
So now try running it and see if we get the so this deletion of the reports is not mandatory it will override it but i'm just simply deleting it so that see if you are if you are able to get all the records all the files properly or not but this is not a mandatory i just want to show you from the scratch everything so it is completing the flow okay so you see html format the name whatever you have given it will come let's try opening it open with chrome you see our two features that we have added now you can see the all the information is getting added over here you can add so much of information over here we will see in the future videos right so here you can see our login test functionality open your uh, and then test, test features, and you have home page, right? This is the one home page functionality one. Home page functionality one. Login page functionality. Login page functionality. Like this, you will generate the reports in a very easy fashion. Just in a very easy fashion. JSON report we have seen, JUnit report also we have seen, HTML report is also seen. In the future videos, we will see how we can add some custom logs. But we cannot rely on this uh, simply, uh, you know, step names, right? So these are all step names. If you remember, just go here, whatever the steps that we have written, each and every line is getting displayed here. here. If it is passing, pass, failing means fail will come. We will see that in detail in future videos. But here, this is not sufficient enough reporting, right? So you need to add even more in-depth details, like you want to see what is happening at a click level. Right, each and every step, what is happening, what is the value being entered in the text box, which locator is being clicked, which object is being clicked, everything you want to track, we will see how we can customize our reports even more beautifully. And also, we will see one more reporting also. So this is if somebody wants to go with this fashion, it's fine. And I will, I will also show you another way of creating the HTML report, which is even more uh, better, which has graphs and all. Okay. So I hope it is clear. So we did not, uh, we did uh, simply only the generated the reports. Open your cucumber.json, just specify the values under the format section. One is a JSON and under the report section, you can see we have created a report section, so report slash and then file name. Same thing, JUnit.xml. Same thing, HTML and you have given the name. These are all inbuilt, so you don't need to worry about much. But we will be working with one more uh, one more HTML reporter that we will see in the future. So that will contain even more detailed information. But in the next video, I will show you how we can attach the screenshot upon failing, how we can add more information to the reports and all. We will see in the next video. So thanks for watching. See you in the next lecture.